The old jail is our oldest public building. It was built so that the sheriff could live downstairs. The not so terrible prisoners were on the second floor, and the really bad ones were up on the third floor. It's a wonderful place for hangings because it has a high-pitched roof, huge beams, throw a rope over it, and you've got your mission accomplished. But not long ago, a medium came to Avival and wanted to know about the ghost in this town. And we all went up on the third floor, and we stood in a little group while he went over, just immediately knew where to go. And he was having an animated conversation with nothing. After a while, he came over to me and asked if I would come and talk to this inhabitant. And he said he's very unhappy, and he thinks that we're up here to put him out. He is a, an African-American. He's about 28 years old, and he's been here since 1905. So I went over, and I spoke to him, and his name is Earl Miller. And I said, Earl, we're very glad to have you here, and we hope that you'll continue to stay and look after the museum for us. And if you don't mind, just stay upstairs on the third floor. But the medium said he agreed, and he was very happy and very pleased that I was so nice to him. The first ghost to inhabit the Abbeville Opera House was uh, a construction worker. During the construction of the Abbeville Opera House, which was completed in 1908, as this back brick wall, which is about 70 feet tall, uh, neared to completion, he fell to his death in the parking lot. He inhabits this backstage area with the ropes and the dressing rooms. He likes to bang pipes. He likes to make props disappear. Our second ghost is that of a young lady who was part of a touring uh, theater company on, on the tour from New York to Atlanta, and the stopover was right here in Abbeville. She became ill and died during performance here at the Abbeville Opera House. She inhabits the house side of the theater, and she has a special seat in the third balcony. We leave a light on for her all the time. If the light's not on, if her chair is moved, bad things happen during the production. Normally, it's when you're here alone at night in the opera house, it can be quite spooky. And, and sometimes you, you feel that you see something just in your peripheral vision, but by the time you turn to look, it's gone. Uh, you don't want to be here alone at night. A strange thing happened here in Abbeville. A young girl was visiting her parents, and the mother and daughter were walking around the square at the head of the street, you're just outside the front door of the church, the child just ran away. The mother was horrified. And the mother came behind her as fast as she could. And when she came into the church, the child was down here in this area of the church, talking very animatedly to nothing. So the mother was just freaked out. What is this? As she walked up, the daughter said, Mother, this is Elizabeth. She is my new friend. She's very sad, and she needs our help. I want you to help her. So during the course of several weeks, the mother came to the point where she could see Elizabeth. And Elizabeth told her problem. She was a ghost. And these two women, the Dana was the young woman, and her mother, through some method, I don't know exactly how, helped Elizabeth find the solution to her problem, and Elizabeth was free. But Elizabeth said this had been her home for so long that she thought she would stay here. So maybe she's here today, I just don't know.